Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss about the components of hydraulic system. The hydraulic system means it is a system in which the liquid fluid is used for the fluid power. And the what are the different components that system includes that I am going to discuss here. In this system, there are up main six components are there, and those six components I'll discuss first, and later I'll the other components also will brief. The first one is the reservoir. The reservoir which stores the required oil, and that will be circulated in the system and returned back to the reservoir. And then second part is that there is a pump. The pump which will be pressurizes the flow fluid in the circuit. This pump will be pumps the fluid in the circuit for its operation. And third one is the motor, which is the motor or any other the prime mover which is used to power the pump. Here the motor we have taken. And the next are the valves which are used. The which valves are used for the controlling the pressure and direction and the flow rate. The this pressure valves are called as the pressure control valves and flow rate control flow rate valves are the, are called as the flow control valves and the direction control valves DCV. These three types of the valves which are used in the hydraulic system then comes the actuator the actuator which converts the, the oil pressure into a mechanical work and then mechanical work whatever is there that is used as the, the output the output where actually its application is required and here you can see that one that other parts what are there that one the breathing filter that one the vent is provided then strainer is used in the pipeline in order to avoid the entry of the contaminants and later there is another filter is also used to filter the oil and this pressure regulator there is a pressure control valve is used in this one and this direction control valve that positions are shown here the which will controls the direction of the flow of the fluid in the forward motion or in the return motion or at that position only here you can see that when first position the red is hold there is no flow of the fluid now whatever the fluid is there at that position only the second is the extend the flow of the fluid at the bottom it will be taking place here the flow of the fluid will be there and therefore this piston whatever is there it will be extends and carries the load okay the, here the flow it, it is taking place at this side whatever the fluid is there that will be returns through the valve to the reservoir and third one is the retract the piston will be retracting here then the in, from the direction control valve the fluid will be flowing in this direction and here it will be pressurizes and the piston moves in the downward direction that is the retraction of the piston is taking place the fluid at the bottom level that will be goes through the direction control valve to the reservoir Okay, like this the working will be taking place here we can see the what are the directions are shown that is hydraulic fluid supply the hydraulic pressure the pressurizer fluid will be there okay from the pump and return fluid the return fluid the blue lines are shown like this these are the main important components and by which the hydraulic system works and here the those parts once again we will discuss here there, is a, there are six basic components required in the hydraulic system. The first one is a tank, a reservoir to hold the hydraulic oil. The second is that a pump to force oil through the system. Third is the an electric motor or other power source to drive the pump. The electric motor or other power source means internal combustion engine also we can use as a power source for this hydraulic system. Then valves to control the oil direction, pressure and the flow rate. Those are, valves are used. An actuator, 
This actuator converts the pressure of the oil into the mechanical force to do the useful work. This actuator actually the produces the output work. Okay, that is called as a actuator. And last part are parts are piping to carry the oil from one location to the another. That all the pipings what are connected, those pipings also comes under the main components. Then here that whatever the three dimensional that is the diagram we have seen how the working that is a flow line diagram also we can see with the all parts this is the oil tank where the oil is stored and through the filter that enters to the pump and which is connected by the motor then pressure regulator that is pressure control hall then goes to the direction control hall and here depending upon the extension and retraction of the piston the flow of the fluid will be changed again it is shown off forward and return and load is applied here and this is the actuator the actuator is a double acting piston okay on either side the fluid flow we are going to make depending upon that it extraction and the retraction of the tool the piston is taking place and the oil during the same time it will be returned into the oil tank this is about the different components of the hydraulic system what we have discussed thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment